Okay, we're getting the Eben Hawk, which is a Knights of the Old Republic ship. And it's gonna be uh, piloted by Karth and T3M4. And I'm actually kind of excited about this because I am currently streaming Knights of the Old Republic. And this is the first time I've ever played that. And I made a place list of me doing that. It's up here in the top right hand corner. And I've also got that on my main page. You can see that I've got a playlist down here where I did part one and then I went and did uh, the Rancor and I met Basila and Karth is there right now. And I don't really know the characters too much, but Karth is kind of whiny what I'm seeing so far. It just seems that way. I haven't met T3M4, but I've got Zalbar and uh, Veo and just got Basila and tomorrow I'll be streaming at uh, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time and I'm going to attempt to woo Basila. I'm going dark side. Uh, Chad is pretty savage. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna talk about the Eben Hawk. Uh, Eben Hawk, Eben Hawk. And so I don't truly completely understand the lore of this ship because I just started playing Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, we were on the Spire or something like that and we haven't really got to the, the Hawk yet. Uh, durable overpoke support dispels enemies and prevents target lock. And um, this is gonna be a galactic chase. So this is gonna be released in a similar way uh, that the Palpmobile, Palpatine ship was. Uh, and that is good because I need to farm Karth anyways right now for potentially Darth Revan or Darth Malak. Video is about that up here in the top right hand corner, but uh, I'm gonna need to farm that character anyways so I could double down and get shards, free shards of the Ibn Hawk basically. And that starts on the 8th. And compared to marquee packs, uh, this way of releasing characters is about $100 less than the old marquee packs. Now they are gonna have the old marquee packs still, which is the 1299 crystals that have an average of seven, actually 6.9 something. Uh, and that's a full $300 unlock if you just buy those packs, or you can do it through the palp mobile way through the, basically the ship nodes. And then you could get the Ibn Hawk and by doing refreshes over, I don't know, it was a couple days that they did it. Uh, but I need Karth anyways for potentially a Malik or a Revan, Darth Revan. <laughs> We're gonna call it Darth Mullet or Marth Revan because I've been playing Mullet Guy right here. <laughs> in the game. If you've been coming out to the uh, stream, I just want to give a shout out to everybody who came out to the stream. That's fun. Let's get to the kit. Basic heavy laser turrets. Basic ability is called heavy laser turrets. Final text, deal physical damage to target enemy and attack again. Oh, I like this. Grant another random buffed ally 15% turn meter for each attack. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, special one, potent pilot. Deal physical damage to target enemy and dispel all buffs on them. This attack deals 20% more damage for each ally with chafe. I think that's what we're gonna call it. Chafe, chaff, chafe, and can't be evaded by Sith enemies. Okay. Immune to target lock. Now, if he's being called in as a reinforcement, they're not gonna have any buffs on them. So I don't know how, you're not gonna wanna do that right when they come in. So it looks like this is kind of like an anti Darth Vader ship, anti Sith, very good. Special two, and this is the T3M4 ability, scramble scanners, deal physical damage to target enemy, inflict a buff immunity for two turns. Woo, that's gonna be anti hound's tooth. Dispel target lock from all allies and grant them a chafe or chaff, I don't know. For two turns, this attack gains 20% critical chance for each other cargo ship ally. Huh, very interesting. Unique one, critical cargo. Eben Hawk gains foresight for one turn each time it is critically hit. It has 15% defense for each other ally, doubled for cargo ship allies. All allies have 20% potency, and the Eben Hawk gains 30% turn meter each time it scores a critical hit. Boy, it kind of looks like Biston's ship with all that turn meter game. Hardware, it's not called hardware, it's reinforcement. Oh, that's old right there. I don't know what that is. Enter battle, dispel target lock from all allies, and grant them chafe for two turns. Dispel all buffs and all enemies and inflict evasion down on them for two turns, which can't be ev evaded. So that has a similar ability that Cassian's U-Wing, and that could be interesting. Now, I know a lot of people are not fans of ships, but I want to say that that is one of the easiest ways to get 400 crystals a day. Um, you know, I kind of focused on my ships recently, and it is a lot easier to get number one in ships 
than it is in uh, the squad arena. Squad arena is a mess with Revan. It really is. But uh, with uh, if you have, I only have a five star Millennium Falcon. But if you have a five star Millennium Falcon, it shouldn't be that challenging. Uh, to get to number one, it's still kind of annoying. The meta is really annoying on both Squad Arena and Ships Arena. I mean, both of them have like the same identical dominant teams, and the ship is just uh, Millennium Falcon and Hound's Tooth, and uh, that is that. Um, I don't see this ship replacing um, Cassian's U Wing because Cassian's U Wing is really important. I've, I just found out a new trick. Uh, from uh, the comment section. And one of my patrons also sent me a message saying, you know, if there's no breached out there, you can actually uh, just bring in Cassian's U-Wing and swarm attack the Millennium Falcon and put it on autoplay. It makes for an easy match, really. Uh, it's a lot easier getting to number one and a lot easier to get those 400 crystals in Squad Arena. Just saying... I mean, I know a lot of people don't like ships, but I'm just saying it's a lot easier getting number one. Uh, there's some other things here too, their content update, and this is just a mild patch. I was kind of a little disappointed that the Finn rework was not there. Uh, here's new contact, characters and ship, more of these units, check out the kit reveals, strategy for the Evil Hawk, we've went over that. And I don't think I'm going to do much with this ship right here, unless it's a required unlock for something else later. Uh, because I don't have those characters upgraded, I don't have T3M4 or Karth upgraded and I'm not planning on it unless I absolutely have to although a lot of people are saying they make for a pretty good territory warriors team that'll see changes reverted Django Fett's attack sounds okay so they're gonna took a pass at improving blaster sounds previous update but aren't satisfied with the results okay so they're gonna revert that back that's cool B1 and B2 super bell droid now have a sound effect when they are defeated because they die all the time <laughs> consolidated, consolidated, clarified, many buff descriptions when you tap and hold a character in battle. Have any impact on the gameplay, but it's done to clarity in preparation for the UI changes coming in the next version update. That's right. There's going to be a UI change for that Mirror Revan match where there's just buffs everywhere. Uh, they're going to have a button where you can toggle because sometimes you can't see the turn meter and you can't see who has foresight. And that's super annoying. Uh, and then I like this uh, update right here. Daily activities change. Basically, light side and dark side hard battles have been consolidated to one daily activity at level sixty, at level 85. Before, it would say three dark side nodes, three light side nodes. So sometimes you couldn't get the dark side and it was kind of a hassle. But now it's just six light or dark side. And so that is an improvement. A lot of people like that as well. So... That's about it as far as the ships. And uh, come out and hang out with me inside of this uh, streaming. Uh, I've had a, a lot of fun streaming the game and running through and doing it. I mean, it's been, uh, there's mullet guy right there. <laughs> uh, it's just been a lot of fun with the chat, uh, playing the game for the first time. I never played Knights of the Old Republic and, uh, uh, you know, I've played it six hours so far and it's going very well. Uh, I'm going dark side. So my understanding is that I'm not going to get the true, uh, cannon, uh, well, if there's such a thing as cannon, all of it was kind of dissolved in 2012. Uh, this is actually definitely a part of the expanded universe, but uh, I guess the the true storyline is on the light side, and I'm going dark side, so I might have to play it again. And then there's a lot of people also uh, really excited about uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, Kodor 2, uh, which I'm also curious about that. A lot of people seem to, the chat that I've been playing with, they've been talking about that quite a bit, and maybe we could do that as well. All right. Well, now it's time for the giveaway. <laughs> I really hope you liked this video today because if you did, you are in luck. For every single person that likes this video, you will be getting for free in your account an eight star Marth Revan. This is not a scam. Did I give this guy away already? Is this a Marth Revan or is he a, a, a Darth Mullet? I, I, this mullet guy right here is, uh, and I picked him and it's been pretty funny. Uh, Maybe I gotta get a, like a wig, cause you know, I don't, I shave, I pick my hair, but maybe I could gotta get a mullet. Maybe do like a Dr. Disrespect mullet or something like that and uh, do that on stream. That might be a little bit fun to to do that. And I'm going full savage with the, the dark side on it. Anyways, I've been having a blast. All right guys, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.
Did I make it to 10 minutes?